Welcome back to my channel. It's Brie and today magluluto tayo ng beef pares mami. So we're going to cook beef pares mami which is a Filipino food and it's one of the street foods in the Philippines because you can see men selling it on the street in their cart you know or one of the stalls in the market when you go in the market you can get beef paras mami there so it's really really good and because my boyfriend asked me to cook him some ramen and I said oh do you know what we have a Filipino kind of ramen as well and yeah so so that so that gave me an idea to cook beef paras mami today so come on let's go and cook it first we'll put the beef in a pot with water so here we have celery stalks carrots and onion and we will put it in the pot together with the beef and we will let it boil so I've put the vegetables and we will wait for it to boil until the meat is tender and then we'll proceed to the next step so I'll cover it for a bit so we have garlic, onion, and ginger. That's This is for the beef pares that we're going to cook later once the beef that we're boiling in the pot is tender. So, put oil. So we're going to make beef pares now. So we'll put oil in the hot pan and put the garlic and saute it. Put the garlic until medium brown. To put is the onion. It's finely chopped onion. And then we'll put the gin chopped ginger as well. Just stir it. And let's wait for the onion to get soft. So the beef that I used here is all already boiled and they are getting tender. And then we'll put soy sauce. get beef stock from the big pot that we are boiling earlier we'll just put star anise you can put one or two star anise as well 
So after we put the star anise, we'll cover it and let it boil until the beef is so tender. So the meat is tender now. So when the meat is tender, you can put sugar, brown sugar in to give it that sweet flavor, but not too sweet. Don't make it too sweet. Because beef Paris is a bit sweet. And I put one, only one tablespoon. And don't forget your pepper as well. And salt. But make sure don't put a lot because you don't want it to be too salty and we will just stir it so it will blend well then we'll have a little taste to see if the sweetness is enough So this beef paris here, you can match it with noodles, which is the beef paris mami, as we call it in the Philippines, or you can eat this with garlic fried rice, which is really, really good. That's why it's called beef paris. And yeah, it's all done, all cooked. So our beef paris mummy is ready and I'm gonna make myself a bowl of noodles. So I have here the egg noodles and I'm gonna dip it in the pot of beef stock where I boiled the beef earlier. Just enough to, to make it hot and then put it in the bowl like that. some beef here, the one that we cooked, the beef patties. Don't forget to put some sauce as well, like that. Because that what will give it the flavor. And now we're going to put beef stock here. On top, there you go. Add some more. And here is your beef paras and it's ready to eat. Let's dig in. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn your notification bells on. And I'll see you next time. Bye.